It's turtle day. Let's go dig up the turtles. It's time to dig our pet box turtles up from their winter. I've been wanting to make this post for a really long time. For those that don't know, this creator has box turtles, which she buries every fall and digs up every spring. Please do not do this to your box turtles. I'm a veterinarian that works extensively with exotic pets. I have box turtles of my own, and this video never sat right with me. Although she does get a lot of things right, such as housing her box turtles outdoors, weather permitting, and allowing them to brumate, the way she goes about it, I just don't agree with. The box turtles should not be forced into brumation by burying them this deep underground, and they should not be suddenly pulled out of it. Instead, they should be able to express their natural behaviors and dig themselves in and out when ready. The creator does have some arguments in favor of her method. She states that her box turtles were born in captivity and not very good diggers, and she wants to make sure that they get below the frost line. But a healthy box turtle shouldn't be lazy or have trouble digging. Although it's correct they should be below the frost line, there's no way to accurately predict when to bury them and when to bring them back out. They should be allowed to gradually adjust and make this decision on their own. Even more in this video, she states there's a lot of variation in how awake they are when she digs them up year after year. Now, I'm not here to bash this creator. She actually has a lot of good information on brumation. I do appreciate that she allows her box turtles to live outside and have as natural of a life as possible. She's doing what she thinks is right for her box turtles, and just as far as burying them, she got some outdated information. She says that her method is vet approved, but as you know, not every veterinarian has equal training in reptile medicine. Although I have a lot of experience in reptiles, I don't pretend to know everything but I do know how to reach out to the most experienced reptile vets in the field. I consulted with multiple board-certified reptile veterinarians from the Association of Reptile and Amphibian Veterinarians so I could learn more about the subject before making this video. Many of them have done residencies and extensive training just to specialize in reptiles, and they unanimously agreed that although brumation is recommended, this just isn't the correct method. Although the turtles have done well so far, this is likely survivorship bias, and this method really isn't recommended. 